go. All right. So today we're going to talk about relacing a baseball glove. And, you know, when you have a baseball glove, sometimes you get uh, laces that rip. And that's what happened to my glove here. Um, so Steve is going to uh, show us how to relace that. A lot. I did an old video series on how to relace a baseball glove a long time ago. It was bad lighting, bad video. I'm going to talk about it. I'm actually going to show you um, some of the tips and tricks that I use when relacing a baseball glove. So I kind of wanted to redo that uh, with Steve, and Steve uh, relaces a bunch of gloves. And if you guys are interested in getting your glove relaced, I don't do that anymore, but uh, Steve does here at the Rawlings store. So you could ship it here, yep. they could ship it, uh, you do it and ship it right back out to them. Right. What You were just telling me about the four sections of a glove, how right. does that all work? So like w when we're relacing, what we typically start with is the thumb and pinky. Uh, we hit this, then we go into the middle, and, which includes down here. The third part, we do the pocket, and then the fourth part, we actually do the fingers. So that's sort of the four sections that we do. Um, we typically start with this area here that way it doesn't interact with the interior of the glove. So we're actually gonna break this down. He's gonna do the pinky and thumb, then the inside, then the web, and then come back on the top of the finger. So let's get into the pinky and thumb. All right, so to start, again, we're doing the thumb and pinky, pretty simple. You have four holes here, four on the back. You're gonna start on the first hole, push it through. You're gonna pull it to where you're gonna leave just enough lace sort of going past the last hole here by about two inches to be able to pull it through. At that point, you're kinda of just gonna follow the pattern. You're gonna go down the second one. And on this particular one, on a, on a lace, there's always a dirty side and a clean side. So you're gonna go clean side out, okay? And then on the same thing on the inside, you just turn it, and you're gonna go clean side back in. And the lace will grab on a lot of stuff, you just kinda gotta adjust it. All right, so now what you're gonna do is if you can see right here, you're gonna come in the same hole that you just previously used. Then we suggest you use your pull tool. You're gonna to go through this hole right here. Come out the back. the other finger. So then I'm gonna do the middle of the glove, which is right through here. This has a little extra piece in most gloves, which will take care of that. And we're also gonna do the bottom part here. Right, so now I'm just gonna clip it real quick. All right, so on this one, you know, it has a little bit of an additional piece down here that we have to do. And this does get a little tricky because what you have to do is you take the end of your lace, you fold it over, you take your clippers, and you actually clip right in the middle, leaving a little hole in the middle of the lace like that. So then what you do is you come up from underneath, you go into the first hole, just like that. And you're gonna line up the hole that you have in the lace with the second hole, and that's what's gonna hold this one in place. So, you go into here, out through the second one, and then through that, just like that, and pull that through. So that's going to pinch your padding in place. Then you're going to just, again, follow the pattern. And then this last part here, what you'll find is that there's not anywhere to end. Like you're not sure what you do. So what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna come up here 
and go through the second hole here and right out the side of the glove. And then from there, you're gonna knot it off. Knotting it is pretty easy. You just come around, go through, and then you're gonna work the lace down to the leather. Just like so. Give it a little tug, clip it off. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other part of the interior. You're gonna start by knotting the end of your lace. You're gonna come in back here by the pinky. There's a little hole right back here. Out through the top hole in the front, just like that. Okay. So now I always take my finger, slide it up into the pinky slot and try to find the highest, the highest pre-cut hole, which it's hard to see, but if you look down in here, there's a bunch of cut holes. So you just need to slide your finger up there until you find the highest one. And that's what you're gonna start with. So you're gonna go ahead and Push down through the second one until you hit your finger. Then you just need to push the needle out like that. And then at this point, instead of being clean on the inside, you're actually just gonna flip the needle over to where on the inside it's gonna be the dirty side of the lace. So then you're just gonna come up. Sometimes it's easy if you open up the middle, you can get a better sight. Okay. So there. And then again, now you're kind of going to just follow the pattern. Make sure you're not getting it tangled up in here. All right, so then again, you're just going to follow the pattern. Now, if you, if when you look in the interior here, if there's ever two holes very close to each other, similar to that and this, you're going to come up and go right back through the same hole you're going into. So I'll show you. So I came down. And now I'm going to go right, just so you can see it there right back in and out the exact same hole that I just went into, just like that. Okay. So there you go. And then you're just gonna kind of follow it again, follow the pattern. Should be fairly, fairly easy at that point. Then you're gonna turn it sideways underneath there. Come on out. Okay, and the last part here, if you get in tight, you go right through this hole, come out the back, and on this particular one, you're actually gonna go through the actual web of the glove on this one. And you're gonna pull that through. Sometimes if it gets a little stuck, you just use your pliers, push against it. Work it out. Perfect. Then you just knot off at the end and you're done. There you go. Clip that and now that part's done. For the, the bottom part here, very simple. You just start here on the pinky side, pull it through. And what you do is you fold this over, go about three holes there. Okay. Then you're gonna come over and go back into the first hole that you just went through. Come out. Pull that through. And what you're doing there is you just lock that in. So now it's gonna stay put. So now you can just sort of follow the pattern like, like we've been doing, just over under. As you're going, make sure you're locking in that part there as well. 
but sometimes in the middle there is an extra piece here that you gotta make sure you're catching. So when you, when you get to the last part, you're gonna come down through, come over the top, go through the same hole again. You're gonna come over and go through it again. Just like that. You're gonna pull it tight, and then you're gonna take the needle and run it inside the lace through three of them. Pull it down through, clip it, and that's your bottom part. Lastly, we're gonna start with the wrist. You're gonna go through the first hole here. And then, based on the hand, since it's going to be an adult, you're gonna go in the furthest back, through to the second. Just like so. And then you're gonna come back up through the second hole on top. So all you did here, if you can see, is you're just pinching the leather to the leather. So just like that. Then you're gonna come down. And we're gonna go up through this part. This is where you're gonna start seeing the beginning of your X, just like that. Then you're gonna go underneath your X, like that. Come into the first hole. Then you're gonna go through here. Pull it through. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that your lace is turned correctly right there. Go ahead and pull it tight. Come up there, and that's it. The wrist is done, we just gotta knot it off. Again with the knot, right over left. Kind of spin it as you're coming out the bottom. Over, over, pull it through. There's your knot. That's your wrist, all done. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the pocket. Uh, I went ahead and clipped all the lace out. This is a trapeze, so um, it's a little different than the norm, but what you'll do is uh, we're gonna come down through here, do the knots, come out, and then the same thing on this side. So uh, let me get started. And when you're dealing with the pocket, you're gonna be doing a quarter inch thick lace. You're gonna go with a bit thicker lace because that's obviously where the ball is gonna hit the majority of the time. We're gonna come in through here. And the top part, going to be similar to an eye web in the sense that you're going to go just like this and then you're going to go into the second hole we're going to pull this tight kind of getting it in place you want to give yourself a little slack don't make it too too firm just like that so then Cut across the top of the web. Just like that, same story, a little bit of slack. Okay. Down through the second hole. And 
and then you're gonna come back out. Just like that. So now we're gonna have to knot it. So sort of like we've been doing, clean side facing the same direction, over under. When you pull it down, kind of face them opposite direction. Come over the top, just like that. And you're gonna pull and square it up. Okay, so that is the top part to hold in the pocket, just like that. So now we're gonna start doing the weave and get to the bottom. That's pretty much that side right there. So you're, you're knocking out the top part and then you knot off, come through here and you see it's pretty much just a weave. You're gonna come down through and out. Then you're gonna clip it with enough lace to tie a knot. That's it. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. We now have the pocket done and now we're just gonna go ahead and cut across the fingers and be done with this thing. You can go ahead and make a knot at the end. We're gonna go through the back top, clean side out. Just like that. This is also gonna be a pattern. You're gonna go down on the other finger. You're gonna come out the back side here. Go in, and then back up, creating your X, and you're gonna go out the back. So that's how you do the finger, and that's gonna run all the way through. Now we're coming up to kind of a different part. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is you're gonna actually come into the middle and out the back. Pull that through. We're going to loop over the top. Go in the first hole, out the back, maybe. Pull that through. And then from that point, you're just gonna kinda spiral it through. All right, so on the last hole here, you're gonna come in, 
come through, come around again, and then you're gonna come through the same hole, but you're gonna come out the front, just like that. Pull through. Just like that. Then we're gonna go into this hole, out. Knot it, and the glove is done. So that's it, guys. So that is how you relace a baseball glove. Now, if you're like me and you don't want to do it yourself, you can obviously ship it here. How do right. I get a hold of you uh, to ship it here? Uh, they can always just call the store. And from there, uh, we'll pretty much give the information to ship it to us. Uh, pick your color, lace, etc. Takes anywhere from uh, same day to five days, and then we get it back out to you. Um, and you are not uh, brandist. No, can you can pick whatever you want to send us. We can pretty much take care of it. Um, only thing we ask is if it's a very old sentimental glove, we need to kind of look it over first, send some pictures, et cetera, just to make sure that we can release it. Some of the rivets uh, won't work with the tools we have. Mention this video when you call in, and you're going to get 10% off your order. Some exclusions may apply. Rawlings was nice enough to let me give away a pro preferred glove, brand new. All you have to do is leave a comment down below on this video or any of the other Rawlings videos that we shot and let us know your favorite piece of Rawlings equipment. You also have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel with notifications on. This way you'll be notified when the other videos come up and when I post the video on July 4th of who's gonna win this bad boy. All comments are selected at random, so go get your comment in now. Good luck.